So this hip back bend that we're about to do is um, one of the postures that I don't often do with a lot of clients, but I do sometimes do with Maggie, and she really likes it. And uh, she's a person that really responds well to back bends. And this is a little bit of an unusual one. Now, she fits a few criteria here that are really important for this back bend. You need a partner that's relatively flexible and that is not too much larger than yourself, depending on your strength levels, because this will take a little bit of upper body strength as well. So I'm going to stand over Maggie in a wide angle stance, not too wide. I want to be fairly close into her hips. I'm going to take your hands just a little bit further out so I don't accidentally step on you. And I want to bring my legs in towards her hips. I'm going to find that place where I'm not really on her thigh bone, I'm not really on her pelvis. I'm going to feel like I'm right in between. So not here, not here, but right in between the two places. So if I go come down and feel with my hands, sometimes it's a little bit more obvious. I want to feel like it's fairly fleshy right there. That's where my legs are going to end up. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to go underneath her back, and she's going to try really hard not to help me. I'm interlacing my fingers. Obviously, this is not a position you're going to do with somebody that you don't know very well. Maggie and I know each other pretty well. My fingers interlace. I'm going to press into my feet and use my legs to help lift her up. I'm going to fit my legs into that space right between her pelvis and her thigh bone. You notice I walked my heels in as I did that, so that now I can release my hands and she can hang out there. So this gives a great release for the outer hips, a place we all need release and it's very hard to get on our own. This is also a gentle inversion, so now all her organs get a chance to relax, a different relationship with gravity, a little bit of stretch, maybe give her a little wiggle. It's always kind of fun, it feels kind of good. And then after we hang out here for a little while, I'll be ready to release her down. So we release by reversing how we enter. I'm going to hold on under her back, release my heels, and lower her all the way down. Now once you've lowered your partner down, usually they have a little bit of an extra back bend. So I'm going to take her legs, give them a little wiggle. And you notice she just stretched right out as I did that. 